In this tutorial, we're going to examine the Prep and Stretch extension within PhotoPaint X8. The Prep and Stretch extension for Corel PhotoPaint allows you to prepare your artwork and photographs for canvas printing in three easy steps. Resize, Fine Tune, and Define Edges. Use Prep and Stretch to achieve the perfect composition for your wall art. Now I've already installed the extension. It's used in PhotoPaint, so I'm going to bring up PhotoPaint and from the Windows menu down to Dockers and I'll select Prep and Stretch at the bottom here. I'm going to start by resizing the image. So I'll click on my resize icon. Here we can see what the size currently is. All I want to do with this is I'm going to adjust the resolution and make that 300 dpi and then click resize. Now I want to do a little bit of cropping. So I'm going to select my trim icon I'll set my width to be 11 inches and I want my height to be 7.25. I can select Adjust Trim. This then allows me to move my mask around and select the portion of the area that I want to keep. I'm going to make it just above the handle of the teapot. We want to try and center that and then I'll select Trim. Now the final step is to adjust the borders. I'll select my stretch image and I have an option of either stretch image edge or mirror image in all directions. I'm going to stretch the image edge simply clicking on this and I can dictate how much of a stretch I need. If I'm putting this around a stretching frame that's let's say three quarters of an inch then I'll want one inch in here and I'll click apply. It's going to go through the image and it's going to create a border around the perimeter of that and you'll see that the border is stretched out. So this will wrap around the edge of the frame and it'll give me a nice clean look on the front surface. Let's try that with another one. I'm going to click on my next file. I'm going to keep the size as is. I want to do a little bit of uh, trimming of the edge. So let me click on trim edge. I want to do my width at 7 inches and I'm going to make the height 5 inches and I can adjust the trim. Here's another little trick for cropping or trimming the image. I can actually move this mask downwards and I kind of like that aspect ratio so I'll simply click on trim. Now for this image I'm going to select my stretch image and I'm going to select mirror image in all directions. Again I want to go one inch, mirror in all directions and click apply. So it's actually mirrored this one inch to the right and now when I go to stretch this it's going to give me nice clean edges and will really stand out on my wall. If you've enjoyed this tutorial and you're looking for additional resources, head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com. You'll also find a number of regularly scheduled training events, Corel customer forums, as well as my book entitled Bring It Home with Corel Draw, a guide to in-house graphic design, and the essentials of Corel Draw X8 from lynda.com. Thanks for watching.